So, here's the progress then. It's been mostly a week of planting stuff, letting the bunnies eat it, and then starting all over again, but actually trying to put up some stuff to stop them eating it. I planted two rows of Brussels sprouts just here at the beginning of the week, and what happened, Vic? The bunnies came and ate them all. Every single one. Mm. Didn't even leave any little stems, did they? Can't see any sign of them. Well, that's one there. You actually don't believe I planted them, do you? No. You think it's a lie? I do. Mean. Anyway, so, and the, they'd had all the onions as well. Like, well, all of them is weird. So they've had what appears to be garlic and onions, but not those which are shallots. Strange behavior. Anyway, there's one, two, three, four, five rows of onions in there, which should be plenty. And then there's one, two, three, four, five, six rows of potatoes there, all starting to come up, but only just. It's early days yet. And then there's my bike, which is, I planted that over there, so we might get little sort of baby bikes coming off it later. Um, and in here, nothing much. That's going to be for the main. Well, that's why I was trying to plant Brussels sprouts in there because this is all for the winter greens, the kales and the broccolis and that kind of thing. In this end, oh well, that's a nursery bed, so that's got some little babies in. But look, it's got fuck off protection all the way around it. I ain't getting no bunnies letting have any of those seedlings, so they're fully trapped. I hate doing this, but because it means you've got to put plastic shit all over the place and netting and stuff but it is totally disheartening when the bunnies just take everything so in here we've got some new those are globe farty chokes a nice row of about 10 of those you don't really need that many of those uh, then where the little sticks are those are all asparagus now they're three year crowns three year old crowns of asparagus which means that we might get some next year. Oh, look, there's one. <laughs> hey, Vic. Yeah? Look. It's an asparagus tit. Is there? Yeah. I think so. Isn't that one there? Oh, yes. Isn't it? Yes. Eat it. See what it does. No, if no, you eat asparagus, smell. your piss smells of asparagus. Did you know that? No. Yeah, that's good to know, isn't it? It's mm. really weird, because it does, within hours. Okay. Maybe that's just you. <laughs> oh, really? Mm, I don't think we can cut that yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we'll there are instructions what you're supposed to do with them, and I don't know what that stuff is there, but it doesn't look too clever, that dark no, red leaf thing there. bad, yeah. Yeah. Bad uh, beans, these are broad beans. I like broad beans a lot, so I've got a huge bed of them. Yeah. And uh, but they're doing fine. They seem to have been, but I'm not sure if they're nibbled around the edge or if they actually have serrated leaves. I noticed this before. Nibbled. Nibbled. So yeah. Speak. So. Say it again. Nibbled. <laughs> Good. And so those are the pea sticks, but the bunnies have had all the peas, so got <laughs> to start all over again with those. Down the bottom of the fruit cage, all around the fruit cage here, I'm growing my sweet peas, and so I protected them. Look, I put in more sweet peas, so that's doubled up. And that's good. But look, this is the fruit cage, and I've I've done a sort of this will do job on this this year because I can't be I can't really afford all the netting to do it properly would cost a fortune, and then I'll probably have to look again at the structure because it's not all that brilliant. But this will do for this year and I've actually got the net up all the way around but it needs sort of stitching all the netting is old and it needs stitching up in places but look it's glorious if you come inside come inside through the rustic door which will probably break more netting than is good for there so We've got 
these are red currants I think over there is gooseberries one two three these are black currants these big ones here and then a couple of white currants on the end of them as well so all down the middle is currants and then over here are some of the black currants and red currants that